Hey guys, Cheng Yu here, another week, another stock portfolio update video. If you're new here, this is a series where I review my long-term portfolio weekly, just to serve as a documentation on how my long-term portfolio has been doing, and also to show you guys that long-term investing actually works. I changed my PC wallpaper for my stock portfolio update videos, so it serves as a reminder that I started investing since the 1st of September, 2020 with 5,000 SGD. All right, so if you convert that to USD, it's about 4,000 plus. So without further ado, let's review my long-term investment portfolio. All right, let's open the Yahoo Finance app. You can see here that today is the 7th of February on a Sunday night. Okay, let's view details into my long-term portfolio. So overall, the stocks I own is about $11,800. We are up close to 10% from last week. The GameStop hype has died down a little, even though there are many people talking about manipulation, all right, by the hedge funds and all this. I still feel that most of the retail investors have pulled out from GameStop already. If not, I hope so. Do let me know if you have any news on that. But it seems that many retail investors has posted online last week that they lost a lot, a lot of money. I even reviewed a post from Discord sent by a friend of a person losing over $250,000 just because he jumped on the GameStop stocks at $450. He bought over a thousand shares and that was insane. What makes it worse is that he used borrowed money. All right, so he borrowed from his friends, his relatives in order to buy the GameStop stocks and now he's down close to about 250,000. If I'm not wrong, it will be around $400,000 if he still has not cut his losses. So I'm quite glad that this GameStop drama is all over or at least has died down. So all my long-term stocks are recovering and we are up 10% this week. So we are almost close to 80% in total gains for my stock portfolio. In fact, we are at 78.6%. All right, almost recovered to the week before the previous week. Okay, let's take a look at Tesla. All right, we are 82% up in total gains for Tesla this week. All right, just to show you guys, I own the Tesla stock on average of $467. So let's see how Tesla is doing for this week. Tesla is up 7% in a single week. If you didn't get in the dip, Below $800 is a bit unfortunate. I do not think we will see prices below $800 in time to come. I feel like the prices will only go up from there. I myself didn't have extra money to add on as well, so that was a bit unfortunate. Dollar cost average, and it will be good enough. All right, next let's look at Arc G. It's an ETF by Arc Invest, all right, into the genomic sector, which is into the medical space. And we are up 67% in total gains for this week. So I own the stock at an average price of $61.60. And let's take a look at the price and performance for this week. So this week alone, we are up 6.8% from $101 to $108. All right, these are the top holdings that they hold for their ETF. Still seems like Pacific Biosciences is still the top holding. Just checking back in from last week. All right, next is Arc K. We are up 56% in total gains for this week. I own 5 shares of Up K at an average price of $95.50 and it's currently up 8.75% this week from $137 ending the week at $149. Next is C Limited. Alright, I'm very happy. We are up 65.65% in total gains. We have crossed the 50% mark and I'm so happy because it is usually my worst performing stock and this time it has even crossed up K. So I'm very glad. Alright, let's take a look at it. I own a total of 4 shares at $155 and it is up 18.48% last week alone from $216 ending the week at $256.76 this is really awesome i haven't checked in with c limited for a while now so i think i will have to find out what made the price go up so much and maybe update you guys in the next stock portfolio update video last but not least we have 
Bitcoin. I do not own an entire Bitcoin. Over here, you can see I only own $15.08 of Bitcoin in USD when it was about $28.6,000. It was up 3% the last week, but it seems like Bitcoin is slowly recovering, right? We have seen a sign of a potential crash, but unfortunately, it didn't quite happen. It has recovered higher than before and has reached an all-time high. So I'm not sure if we will see it crash anytime soon. That's all for the long-term stocks that I hold for this week. I'm very glad that the GameStop hype has died down at least. So all my long-term stocks are actually recovering now. And some even doing better than before. Alright, let's take a look at some stuff. Ah, Dogecoin. Ah, Dogecoin. Alright, let's take a look at this ridiculous cryptocurrency. Look at that. That insane gains just because of the GameStop hype plus Elon Musk's tweet, of course, right? It's boosting Dogecoin to ridiculously high gains, I guess you can say that. It's just crazy. Okay, let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum looks like it's doing very good as well, all right? It has hit an all-time high also with $1.756 thousand dollars. That is a lot. It seems like cryptocurrency is a very popular thing now. I think it's getting more attention than before. I should start looking out for that because I haven't really looked at cryptocurrency for a while already. Alright, so that's all I have for this week. I'm very glad that the GameStop hype has died down. Everything is getting back to normal. Or you can say so. Alright, all my stocks, all my long-term stocks are recovering. That's a very good sign. I hope nothing crazy again will happen. Or maybe hopefully something good at least. <laughs> that's all I have for this video. Alright, I'm Cheng Yu and I talk about anything regarding adulting. Alright, and I mostly have been creating investment related content. If you've enjoyed this video, do like it. Alright, any questions, leave it in the comment down below. And subscribe if you're not subscribed to it yet. I hope you have a great week ahead. Invest safe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.